Linda, good morning. She's back. Linda broke a nail. Oh, Aunt Dada's going to fix you. We're going to start off with my two-time course car by a safety bin. I'm going to put that drill on a medium speed. After I do that, I'm going to clean under the nail. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to push the cuticles back, as you can see. All right. Then I'm going to go back in with my fine grit sanding band, one band per person. We're going to put that drill on a very low speed because this is where I'm going to work on the natural nail. I guess I made a mistake there. Didn't see it till just now. So you want it on a low speed so you're not creating any rings of fire. You're not creating any heat spikes or any damage to the natural nail. You want to keep your drill kind of straight. You don't want to tilt it in. And then after that's all that said and done, I'm going to dust away the dust and I'm going to cleanse, dehydrate, push her cuticles back all the way back to her shoulders if I can with 100% acetone. Okay, so let's get our paper towel, our liquid, CND retention, thank you, love it, and some CND Sheer Intense Pink Powder in my new bowl I found at Goodwill yesterday. Couldn't believe I found that for $1.49, could not believe it. Tap, tap. We're going to start off with the pinky, so I only need a little bead there, a little baby bead. We're also going to do some fall leaf encapsulation. Diana, you don't need that many leaves. Will you put some away? I also have some glitter mixes that I put together that I've been uh, using throughout the beginning of the fall season already. So what I'm going to do for the leaves is I'm going to put a thin coat of clear down. I go in and put my leaves down. And you can see my gooseneck phone holder there that Linda's just had to record in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do this nail is going to be glitter encapsulated. So this was the nail I replaced and so we're putting a whole bead on there to create the whole nail. I'm going to build it all the way up, then put some glitter on it, and then I will encapsulate it with the clear acrylic from CND. So here's my wall and there's my little friend, my little friend. Tap, tap, hold. Anyway, we're waiting for Linda to wash her hands. And now that she's back, we're gonna pull out the Ghost Ranch fired brick, okay? She wanted it coming down to a point on the two remaining nails that I have to paint. So we will start off with a coat of Mademoiselle. We will do a second coat of Paloma. And then I will go back in with my um, number two Sakura striping brush to start that V French. And then I'll go back in with the brush to fill in the spaces. And then I actually go back with my striper brush again just to touch it up and tighten it up. So we're gonna do um, glitter for you. It's a nice soft gold glitter that I'm gonna cap off this V with. I like this glitter because it spreads nice with an art brush and it's just a really aesthetically pleasing gold paint. Here's the final look, guys. 